Hi folks, this is Jake of Jake's Famous Foods. We're gonna do something fun today. We're gonna to actually try something a little bit different. Today I'm gonna to make a smoked peach sweet potato cobbler. And I'm actually gonna do that on my barbecue grill. So I've got my peaches. I've got four reasonably sized peaches here, okay? I've also got two small sweet potatoes. Now the sweet potatoes are certainly firmer than the, uh, than the peaches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the sweet potatoes in the oven for about half an hour, 45 minutes, just to get them at the similar state and in terms of firmness as the peaches. And once I've got that done, I'll take them out and I'll, I'll, of course, get them into the recipe. But the peaches, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice them up. We're gonna get them together with the, uh, with the, the partially cooked sweet potatoes. I'm gonna mix all the ingredients together we're gonna put it in this nice little uh, cast iron skillet here, and we're gonna take it outside and put it on our grill, and we're actually gonna cook it for about an hour. So I'm gonna walk you through the process, I'm gonna add the ingredients and a listing like we normally do on the, uh, on the video here, and we're gonna show you everything. We'll even show you the results, and I'll actually tell you whether or not the recipe turned out the way I wanted it to. I think we're gonna have some fun. I think it's gonna turn out nice, and you know, what, what's life if you don't experiment? So we're going to put that together for you and we're going to show you the results and I'll walk you along the process as we go, okay? See you soon. Okay folks, we're back. I just wanted to show you, we sliced up the peaches. I've got one here and I'm actually going to just slice it here in front of you while I'm talking. Now what we're actually going to do is we're going to take these peaches and we're going to sweat them a little bit. And how we're going to sweat them is by adding uh, some sugar. So we've got a cup of sugar here on the side, and we're gonna take that cup of sugar, we're actually going to add that in and let the sugar rest inside the, uh, with the peaches. And that'll be maybe about uh, 30 minutes to 30, 40 minutes, something like that. So let's get the remaining peach sliced here. Just gonna do that real quick. And I've got my uh, sweet potatoes. They're uh, baking away and they're on the timer. So they're gonna run about 45 minutes there. We're just gonna spread it out nicely. Now I've already mixed a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So we're just gonna get that all over the top of these peaches. Let it coat in nicely. And I actually mix the, uh, the cinnamon into the sugar. That way it's just easier uh, when, you, when you pour it on. And everything gets coated that way. So get them all fully covered. Okay, nicely. And that's gonna draw the, um, certainly draw the liquids out of the, out of the peaches. You'll see that happen in a little bit. But I'm just gonna let these rest for about 30, 45 minutes, maybe a little longer and then we'll take them and we'll move on to the next step in our process, okay? So I'll see you guys back soon. Okay folks, we're gonna move the process right along here. Uh, as you can see, I've got my cast iron pan here and we're gonna make the topping right now. So I'm gonna put that together, then we'll get the filling inside the cast iron pan and we'll get it outside on the grill and get some nice smoke onto that cobbler. One thing I will mention in advance is that I took my pan my seasoned pan and I actually put it in the grill inside the oven and I let it I brought it up to temperature about 350 degrees for about 10 minutes because what I wanted to do was um, stem the transition time between getting it from here to the grill and then having it uh, start up as a cold unit so let's go ahead and get the topping together I've got my flour my salt and I've got my baking powder all mixed together uh, inside the pan the, the dish here so we're gonna add our eggs. Got two eggs, uh, nicely beaten. So we get those into the into the bowl here. And just start mixing in the flour. Okay. We're gonna add our sugar. Get that into the dish. And you'll start to see the, the flour start to crumble up a bit, and that's exactly what we want. We're gonna add our brown sugar. 
Mix that in evenly. And we want to get the eggs blended in really nicely before we add the final item, which is the butter. And the reason why is because the butter's warm. We don't want to cur uh, curdle the eggs or create any changes there. Let's just go ahead and blend it in. It's looking pretty good there. Mix it in as best we can. And we'll just slowly blend in the butter. And this is one whole cup. Because we're going to have a really buttery crust. Now I know some recipes call for just putting it on after it's actually in the pan, but we're going to put it on like this. Great, okay. So let's go ahead and get our peaches and our sweet potatoes into the into the pan. Spread them out evenly. Mix it around as best we can in there. And then we'll get our topping onto the um, mixture. Now because I, I, I put the butter in uh, right away, I, you know, it's going to be kind of clump, clumpy. That's okay. It's just going to take a little time to get it all spread out. And this is cobbler, so it's going to be that way anyway. So once you get it in there, just spread it out a little bit. And it tastes really good too. All right, looking fantastic there. Get it all around in the corners, fill in all those open spots as best you can. And get those peaches down in there. Don't don't let them sit up. If they're sticking up, you want to get them down under the under the dough. This is basically the crust. So get them under the crust, okay? Ah, looking pretty good. Get the rest of it on. Put away that container, that bowl. We flatten it out, actually get it nice and smooth best we can. Remember, get the peaches down in there. We want our crust to spread out and we want it to brown. It's gonna be on the grill. And we're actually gonna have it on the grill for about an hour. So we're looking at 350 degrees. So my grill's actually up to temperature now, it's ready to go. So we just go ahead and get it out there. And I'll show you actually when I've got it sitting on the grill and we're ready to go, okay? So I'll see you outside in a moment. Okay folks, I wanted to show you outside here. I've got my cast iron pan on my grill. Got a nice bit of smoke coming up. It's looking really good there. I'm gonna let it go for about an hour and I'll show you guys the results. See you soon. Okay folks, we're back. And I've taken the pan out of the smoker. Actually, I'm using a Weber grill with uh, applewood, which uh, creates this really nice uh, aroma. 
and uh, certainly has this nice little golden smoke over the top of the, the uh, cobbler. So I'm going to take a little slice here, let you know what I think. It looks absolutely wonderful. Really beautifully done. And it's still very warm, so I just want to let you know that. Oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. You can see the steam coming off. So I'm just going to give that a little, little try here. Tell you what I think. That's really nice. Just the right amount of sweetness, right amount of smokiness. You can uh, get the smokiness in the crust. Wonderful flavor. The only thing I'm missing maybe is a little bit of vanilla ice cream. But other than that, it is an absolutely wonderful dessert. I'd say if you get the opportunity, follow this recipe. Give it a shot. It's easy to do on your grill. All you need is the, the peaches and the sweet potatoes. And um, just follow the recipe step by step. You're looking at maybe an hour or two of actual cooking, getting everything done. And it's absolutely wonderful. I will definitely pass this along to my friends. And I'll definitely do this again. So happy barbecuing, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.